Aja ni wambia ukweli by the way. Mimi sometimes na support William Samoy Ruto. Akate employees 3%. Na ikiwezekana hata ifike 10%. Hata hiyo pay as you want. Hiyo 30% wanalipa ni kidogo sana. In other countries wana walipa 50%. Waanze kulipa hata 60%. I support it. And I say this with a heavy heart. Kwa nini? After August, around October, I visited an office in Westlands. They know I'm a politician. So it had around 10 people. Time nilingia, those people are so proud that in their lives they have never voted and they will never vote. In fact, some of them were saying at siku ya vote it's a holiday for them. They take popcorns, na remote, na movie, kuangalia tu TV, mafala, wakienda kuvote. Mwesike mafala, wakienda kuvote. Yani, people who have gone to school, people who are there to shape a country, the narrative of a nation, the governance, they have left the future of this country in the hands of people who can be brainwashed so easily. Ati watu wa boda boda, ati mama mboga, ati nani, watu wa chini, au ndi wamewachua wakua na make decision on their behalf. And I want the government to even uh, drive this narrative very well. Iye nina sema ati watu employed, ndi wanafanya watu jobless, wasikue na nyumba. I want it to be driven so well. Ikuwe kama xenophobic attack. Ati ukiwa jobless, wone mtu employed akona nyumba, unenda ata unaishi kwa ke. Kwa sababu ya ndi yamefanya usikue na nyumba. Because the rogue politicians we are having, the people who can expose them are the people who have gone to school. But the people who have gone to school, they think talk politics is pettiness. They are in WhatsApp group of cousins, uh, they are in WhatsApp group of villages, but who has to quit time? Kuenda hapo ndani, kuedoke tu watu kuambia that the leadership of a country, a good leadership, it depends with a leader's integrity. Right now we are having rogue leadership. A person who went to the to, to markets and tell Mamamboga that if he becomes president, they will never use uh, airtime, they will never use mobile, uh, calling, browsing, all will be free. And that person was voted. And if you go to those Mwamboga and Boda Boda, they trusted those man's words. Na nyi mwamboga umesoma, munajua huo jama, ni muongo, he is corrupt, he is everything. But you guys kept silent. Ata mtakai kujua. Kwe unabebago na mtu wa Boda Boda. That Boda Boda guy trusts you, respects you. Vile unanukia vizuri, umevaa vizuri, ayupelewa kwa ofisi. Unakosaka three or four words ya kuchanua ujama wa Boda Boda. Mtu ambaye mtu wa boda boda mwenye anaambiwa ati president as mama anawaambia ati in 3 months nowadays wataacha na hii uh, motorbikes uh, za petroleum watachukua motorbike mpya za electricity na wewe uwezi ya nuo jamaa umwambie the future of the country depends on good leadership wewe mama ume unaendaga kazi unaendaga kuchukua mboga kwa mtu wa mama mboga na unasikia mama mboga akikwambia wenye maisha ni ngumu anakwambia ati kuna mtu amesema akikuja hao watawatoa from bottom apeleke up wewe kazi yako ni ku green na ku smile ukifikiria in your mind wenye watu wanabeba ufa but that I want me two or three words. Ya kumchanua ajue the kind of leadership we are having is so wrong. Where tu ni kucheka na kwenda job at haikuhusu. My friend, nataka mkato e pesa kabisa. Ndiyo mjua inawahusu. Let's take an example. When you are doing the voting, diaspora voting, watu wa Canada, Kenyans in Canada, in US, in UK, Ruto did not even get 20%. Because those people are exposed. They know the truth. They do not even vote him. The people who voted Ruto are the people who can be brainwashed. Even 2027, he will come and brainwash them again. Na nyinyi amba umesoma, mutakuwa mwenyamad. In fact, Ruto does not care that nyinyi umesoma employed that anawakata 10%, mukasirike, musikasirike. He does not care because he knows you will never make a decision on the ballot to vote him or even to vote his opponent. And again, you don't engage in politics because it's it is pettiness. I'm telling you, Munona, your rogue uh, leadership when you may fortana. Ruto is baptizing you with water. He's number two. If he comes, he will baptize you with fire unless Muhammad Kenya. And I'm saying that to the people who have gone to school. What wamba wange kuwa light ya jami. Wambia, who, people who can govern, who can shape the narrative of our nation, people who can uh, who, who, who can shape the future of our country. Wanakuwa menyamaza kwa mafala.